Hey, this is Matt, and today we're going to talk about the RIP value. Uh, the RIP value is a price that's unique to each symbol, um, and we calculate it using a volatility of that symbol and solving for the 25 delta put at 45 days to expiration. Uh, the RIP value, we use it for identifying trading opportunities, both opening, maintaining positions, and closing uh, for exiting. Uh, we use it also for uh, hedging and risk purposes. Uh, the theory is, is that as the dollar amount of options get smaller, uh, the Black-Scholes formula or the modified Black-Scholes, as in the binomial, uh, loses usefulness. And so sometimes you need to manually adjust deltas because of RIP values. Uh, and I should just say, as an aside, the, the way I came up with the RIP value is I was a trader on the floor of an exchange, and I would notice that the more experienced traders uh, were buying uh, options that looked to be not a good buy from a theoretical standpoint. And, you know, I always wondered about that. And then as I got to know those people more, uh, I started to interview them about what that value was when they started to buy in options um, and came up with a formula that I explained earlier. And also these people would call them rip ups or they'd rip up their uh, their ticket it used to be paper on the floor and that would indicate to their uh, people that were maintaining the risk for them often not to put it into their position so uh, I, I noticed once one that they were buying in options that at higher prices than I might have thought and two that they were taking those uh, positions out of their delta calculations, m much like a lottery ticket. Uh, they didn't want to have stock hedged against that. So uh, meaning and purpose then results. So how, do we, how will we uh, determine whether that works well? Well, uh, I'm not going to be able to, to determine the, uh, the, the delta part, but uh, one thing that ORATS does is, is test uh, trading strategies through backtesting and specifically we use the RIP value to exit trades. We found that that's often a very uh, beneficial way to figure out when to exit a certain trade. So and that same theory is if you don't want to be short uh, one of these options, whereas if you remember those uh, experienced traders would buy in options when they got to a certain po point, which I call the RIP value. Um, in this uh, buy right study we're going to look at, um, we want to see that if that actually was a beneficial strategy. And the way I'm going to test this is I'm going to take you know, top 15 names uh, by option volume, and I'm going to take the top 10 results of their, uh, the top 10 strategy results uh, for the, the buy right, and I'm going to see how often the RIP value appears in those top 10 results. And if it appears more than uh, it should, meaning it, there's the uh, RIP value appears in a certain percentage of our tests that we run. Um, and if it appears more than that'll be good for the RIP value. And also we'll look at the top strategies. So how did that fare? So, uh, the RIP value as an exit strategy appeared in the top 10 results 45% more of the time than would have been expected. So that's a good result right there, clearly. And it was the top result in out of those 15, 169% more than would be expected. So I'll show you this. Uh, here's how I did the study. So using our implementer uh, in our API, you can go and get all the results for Baidu, for example. And you'll see many different um, strategies here. And here's the uh, top results uh, sorted by sharp ratio. Uh, Baidu, I, I use that as because they had a lot of rips um, as a 
uh, percent uh, in the top 10. Uh, the competition is exiting by delta, uh, exiting by days, or not exiting until expiration. And so then what I did is I said, okay, well, um, let's count uh, how many uh, of the total were uh, exiting by delta. Let's count how many were exiting by rip, uh, and then count all of them and see if um, more than should be expected uh, came out. So, so basically, what I did is, is, you know, for all these stocks here, Gilead, XOM, I counted there are 150, uh, 93 of them of uh, of the deltas uh, were in the top 10, 27 of the rips were in the top 10, and uh, so then I went ahead and counted all of the strategies that we do. There were 331. Uh, Delta appeared in uh, 200 of those. Uh, the RIP value appeared in 41 of those, or 12%. So 12% uh, of the population of all strategies, but 18% in the top 10 is a 45% improvement of what would have been expected. And of the 15, five were top in, in the RIP value, uh, and that's 33%, and that's 169%, or you take one off of that, in order to see uh, you know, almost three times as much as would be expected. So that's, uh, that's the RIP value. Um, that's how we calculate it. Uh, that's how we uh, say what it's used for, and those are the results. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please contact me at orats.com. Thanks.